use of data structures, sequential and relative files. Now, these relate to how records are written, stored and retrieved within a file. So first we have a sequential file, which contains records organized in a specific order based on the sequence that were entered within the file. So what this means is when a program reads this data okay, and is requested to retrieve specific records from the sequential file, it needs to start at the first record and then go through that exact same sequence in order to find the specific record it's looking for or use that specific record it needs as a part of its processing. Now, sequential files may be used for report data or transaction files, which are timestamped as a part of batch processing. So there's scenarios where we want records kept in order so that they can be processed in that same order. And that's where we use these sequential files. And in order to illustrate this, let's say this is my five files here or my five records within my sequential file. Okay, if I want to find record four, I have to go through records one, two, three in order to get to record four. So the system can't just go straight there. It has to go through them all sequentially before it can get to that record. Now, this is obviously different with a relative file, okay, because this stores records in a location that is relative to another file location or directory. Now, this is achieved using a relative record number, an RRN, which is used as a reference point or applies a number to the, each record so that we can actually type that in and find specific records. So think of it as a primary key or an ID field that allows us to find it, but usually it's just a number. So, when a program needs a specific records data, it uses the RN to locate the record and either process or present the record on screen. So we can find it straight away without going through all the initial records. Okay, so we don't need to go through all the records in sequence to find specific record data. Now, most systems would use this type of uh, setup, but uh, two examples would be inventory systems where we want to find specific products within a, uh, a record or a store's database, okay, or within a program and present those records on screen, okay, about those specific products, or in banking systems where there's lots of customers and accounts and finances, and we might need to look up specific customers' details, okay, we use that RRN number again in order to point us in the right direction, and so the system can present specific users' data on screen. So if we're going to illustrate this relative file, so here's my five actual um, records once again as a part of my system. If I want record four, I type in I want record four and record four, obviously I could look through it because they're all indexed on the system. Okay, and it can actually see, oh wait, there's record four. So it just finds it straight away because they all have that RN attached to it, okay? So I hope this video has given you an understanding of the difference between sequential and relative files. And the major difference being that use of an actual number to allocate to each of the records in the relative file format, meaning that we don't have to go through all records in sequence like we do with a sequential file. We can actually say which records we want and then based on that number, we can find records specifically, present them on screen and process or look at them straight away through allocating the specific index number.